Hello everyone, so here I'm going to show you the basics of using ImageJ processing. So here you can see that I've already opened up my image and for that you'll go to file, then open, and then you'll select your image from whatever file you want. So basically I want to show you a few extra things that might let you be able to count uh, the cells a little bit easier than uh, basic um, principles. So first of all I like to start out with you go to process and then you come down to subtract background so that's going to bring you to this little, um, little menu here and that's going to subtract all the background here all this noise so uh, I just choose 12 you can choose any number you really want you can kind of play around with that but let's just subtract that you can see that it's going to subtract the noise from here alright so now let's go to uh, uh, image uh, adjusting the threshold so we're going to go to image adjust threshold and here it's going to change it to be only black and white so you can choose it to be a red scale or uh, blue and gray but we'll choose black and white that's pretty simple so now with this you're going to want to adjust the the scale to get as much of the actual kind of data that you want to get so you can see as I go down more and more is going to come into view so I want to get to the point that I get just as much, so I want these little pixels to disappear, so I'm going to keep going up until they uh, generally disappear, but you don't want to go up too high um, because you don't want all your actual data to disappear as well. So we'll choose this. Um, this looks close enough. So we'll choose apply, get out of that. Now with this, um, to make this also a little easier, so you can see that some of these cells are kind of smushed together. Well, to compensate for this, I like to do another step where uh, you're going to go into process, come to binary, and then fill in holes. With this button, it's going to fill in all the white dots that's in, in the middle of all the cells. So let's press that. So you can see that it filled in all the white dots. Now uh, now you're asking probably, how does that help? Well, um, all of these are still smushed together. So there's another step that uh, first fo that follows that. Um, you go into process, then do binary, and convert to masks. So when we convert to mask, it's just going to convert it to a different type of picture that's going to let us do additional processing on it. So then after that, to get these cells separated, we're going to go to process, binary, and come down to watershed. Now watershed is going to put a one pixel line between what ImageJ thinks are two different cells. So let's press on that. So now you can see that right here, it put a one pixel line through what it believes is a different cell and it's here as well so that's going to uh, kind of separate the images of what we want to see now you're probably thinking oh like what are some data like this going to do is that going to um, mess up our results well when we go into analyze analyze particles that's what this size parameter is right here that's going to cancel out anything smaller than 120 squared pixels so with this number, that's a number that you can play with to get what parameters you want. I chose 120. It seems to fit pretty well. Uh, you can play around a little bit differently with that. Circularity par parameter is going to cancel out um, by how circular it is. So 1 is a perfect circle and 0 is not circular at all. So if you want something that's more close to a circle, which is similar to what our cells is, you could possibly play with this upper value. But if you uh, want to cancel out things that are just kind of really messed up, you should probably change this lower value. I leave it as is. It's not very necessary because you're canceling out by size anyway. Now exclude edges down here is going to exclude cells that are half on the edge. So you can see right here and right there that those are sticking off. ImageJ is not going to include those in the processing if you select this. Now show, outlines is just going to trace the outline of the cells. When you select masks, it's going to uh, basically show you an image basically that looks like this that you see right here. It's going to show you the, the mask of the image. So we're going to choose outline just because it's going to show us the numbers. Um, so there you go. So you can see that it canceled out this cell right here on the edges and everything. And you can also see that ImageJ accounted for the, the areas right here in the middle. You can see that it's, uh, it's splitting the cells and counting what is, is there. You can also see that it canceled out all the garbage that you don't want. So this area right here isn't popping up in, in the area over here. So that's exactly what you wanted and that's uh, what it did for you. So 
Uh, this basically concludes my little uh, preview of things. Hopefully this will help you out a little bit more.